Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you today how to make a drum beater or drum stick that I will be using with the hand drum that I made. I cut a birch stick 13 and a half inches long and rounded and smoothed the stick. Then I'm cutting grooves on the beater end to hold the head onto the stick. You can see here's the prepared stick. I used the same piece of birch that I made the uh, drum hoop with. It's uh, black birch. And I have a slight taper on it. You can see here where the handle is going to be. This end here, it's a slightly larger than the fore end here where the, the drum end is going to be. And I went and cut these grooves and uh, that's to keep the head from slipping off. So I'm going to use silicon. I have 100% uh, silicon here. I'm going to use this to form the beater end. And I don't want the silicon to get into the wood where um, there may be a finish on it. So I'm going to put some masking tape on the handle. And just because the other thing, I'll be handling this, and I want to keep the wood clean. So I'll go all the way down the center part. This will be the exposed wood. And the handle end, I don't have to worry about, because that will be covered with leather back here. So this side here, we need to work on forming a beater head on the end. So that's next step. What I want to do is squeeze the silicon into the grooves. And that way when it cures I know it'll be locked in real tight. And I want silicone on the front end. And then we build this up. This end is going to be wrapped in leather. And I have some brain tanned leather. And that's what we're going to use on this. I have here a bowl of cold water with some dish soap and uh, that should keep my uh, hand not allowing the silicon to stick to it. I'm rolling this as I'm touching it. That's pretty close. I'll let that cure for a few days. Then I'll sheath it, cover it with the leather. So I'm going to have to leave this set probably in my dish rack for a few days. Here's the stick with silicone on the end and it's already cured. And I have a piece of uh, buckskin leather and this is going to make the wrap and what I'll do is stretch this over the top and I'll keep pulling down on this and try to get rid of any wrinkling and we're not that concerned with wrinkling down in here because that, that won't be making contact with the drum face. And you see I've moved the rubber band down with it. Okay. 
and as this dries it should pull some of the wrinkles out also. Then I'm going to secure this with rawhide and the rawhide when it dries it'll shrink and tighten up. Right now I have it secured with artificial sinew and I have that because I'm letting my rawhide soak in cold water so that'll hold it until I get the rawhide on. And what I'm going to do is about an inch down, I'm going to trim the leather off. And this remaining leather that's on there, what I will next do next is cut these into tassels. Here's the buckskin. Just pulled it out of the water and wrung it out. And now I'm going to try to wrap this as tightly as possible. And sinew, the natural sinew, would be real good for this because when the sinew is more like a, a smaller cord and it's extremely tough and when it dries it's like the threads have been glued. And it, when it dries it should be locked. Now the handle part. I'm using a rubber band to hold the ends of the rawhide down while it's drying so that when I trim it there won't be standing sharp edges. I'm locating an area on the stick by using the piece of leather for the handle um, to file a groove uh, that will be used to lock the leather onto the handle. This groove is filed completely around the stick. That grooves for tying lace around the leather to keep the handle from sliding, lace or the leather from sliding back off of the handle after it's stitched on, and that won't be seen. I'm using sinew to do the stitching on this leather handle. I'm starting at the upper end and working the stitching down to the bottom of the handle where it's rounded. And at, when I complete it, I made the stitching uh, double. I came all the way back up to the starting edge. After the stitching is completed, I carefully cut the excess uh, leather close to the stitching, but making sure not to hit any of the threads. Right here is the groove that I filed and a piece of rawhide and I'll wrap this in the groove and tie it. And when it dries I'll trim it. And here's the other one, the other end. Uh, it's drying, not completely, but I removed the rubber band and uh, in the morning I'll trim those and you can see here the tassels are cut. Leather handle, I dampened the handle or dampened the leather slightly so that I could stretch it a little bit more so it's on real tight. I double stitched it all the way around and so far that's done other than uh, the decoration. Here you can see the rawhide tied in the handle groove. For paint colors I chose to use the four traditional colors that symbolize direction, uh, four directions. And I also 
tried to use uh, feathers to reflect the same. So I chose bird feathers of the same or close to the same color. Here you can see the different colored feathers. Uh, they're from different birds and they're secured with beads of the same color. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye-bye.